All right, so this will be a good place to finish. I'll just say that we did try, you know, we've tried to bootstrap a couple of other things up. So you can take, for example, something like from the CDC. This is a sleep insufficiency measure, which they've done by survey, and then correlate that with tweets around the same time and look at the word usages and so on, and then try to make, try to assign scores to words in that way. Right? You could do a survey where you say, oh, you know, what, does this word make you think that the person who wrote it is sleep deprived? I mean, you could do something like that. Obviously, it becomes very, um, or this tweet or whatever, right? Something about babies would be a big thing. So, you know, so the insomnia, got it. This, this would be a great instrument. Now, I think what's happened is with things like Fitbit and so on, they have this data and you can, you can create it. Again, a pretty big runs a third of people's lives, and it's a huge impact, and it's measured poorly on this report. Uh, this is a hangover barometer. Binge drinking, might, might be happy, might have the good food scores and whatever, but uh, I'd like to get hammered. So this is not the alcohol um, thing. So this is, yeah, this is based on the CDC thing as well. This is not, this is not drinking in general, which is another, that's, that's a different thing. Right? So alcoholism is a different thing. This is, gets colder apparently. Anyway, so uh, there's a whole bunch of things that can be built out there, so it's a potential enterprise. All right, um, thank you, sorry, yes, good, good, good. good. Uh, one more lecture, we'll talk about some other fun things, and uh, thank you. Okay.